So in the last video, we have seen how to serialize an object in XML format. In this video, we'll see how to deserialize it. So in order to deserialize it, first we need a main function. And what we'll do is, uh, to deserialize, we require the XML. So for encoding, we have used, or to save it, we have used XML encoder. This time we'll use XML decoder, so which is XML decoder from java.beans package. We'll say the packet, uh, the class name is again x or the object name is x, and we'll say new XML decoder. XML decoder. In this, we have to pass the object. So, in case of storing, so if you can see, in case of uh, encoder, we have to use buffered output stream. Now, since we are taking the input, we have to say new buffered input stream. Okay. And in this in this scenario, we have used file output stream. This time we have to mention file input stream. So we'll say new file input stream. And in bracket, you have to mention the file name. And the file name here is it is my college.xml. So you have to make sure your file name is right. So there's a chance that this file is not uh, there, it will give you error, right? So to handle this error, we have to use try catch. So we'll say surround the uh, statement with try catch okay we'll say in this so once you got the object of x what we can do is uh, we'll say we have to create object of college so we'll say college c equal to now we don't want to create a new object we have to fetch it from the file so we'll say x dot so there's a method called as write uh, read object so in case of uh, storage we use write object in case of uh, fetch we use read object but this read object will give you object format. What we need is college format. So we have to use a type casting of college. Now, once you got the college, now let's create, let's print uh, the, uh, let's print all the values. So what we can do is we can take a list here. We'll say list of students. And uh, what we'll do is, let's import the package first. So once you got the list of students, we'll say S equal to, and this students will get from the, uh, College object will say guest students. Okay. Now once you got the object, let's print all the values. We'll use a for loop of type student. We'll say student. Uh, we'll say student value in S, and let's print all the values. So we'll say value. Now since uh, value is the object of student, and which in which I'm using this method, which is to string, which will print the student the roll number and the name of the student so if i run this hope so it will work and here we go so we are getting this data which is 101 mangesh and 102 shiny cool so even if you change even if you change the structure of student class it will not affect the output and that's the power of xml format cool so this is how we have to use or we have to serialize and deserialize the object in xml format so thanks for watching and do subscribe for the further videos.